Do you need to know how to code to get into cybersecurity? The short answer is no. I remember early into my career in cybersecurity when somebody had came up to me and asked me if I knew how to code. I told them no, and they looked at me and said, good luck. I thought about that comment for quite a while now, and I'll be honest with you, it did make me look into coding and try to learn a new language, but at the end, it never really stuck with me. Fast forward to today, can I code? Not really. I can edit existing code and try my best to understand it, but give me a blank page and I don't know where to begin. I hope that brings a smile to some of your faces because I want you to know that you do not need to know how to code to get into this field. However, I do want to point out that it depends on the type of role you want to get into. For example, a GRC analyst likely doesn't need to know how to code, nor does a SOC analyst but it would help them in their day-to-day -day responsibilities. Whereas a CTI, Cyber Threat Intelligence Analyst, DevOps, or Security Engineer would lean towards needing to have some level of programming skills to be successful in their role. The key word is some. It doesn't have to be advanced, but beginner is better than nothing. Just to be crystal clear, do you need to know how to code to get into cybersecurity? No. However, to be successful, depending on your role, you may require some knowledge of coding. So what are some of the benefits and how can someone like myself compete with others that know how to code? We'll begin with the benefit. Some might already know this, but one of, if not the main reason to code is to make your job 10 times easier. This means automating a certain task parsing out a specific field in a log, or even generating visuals for anomaly detections and putting that into Jupyter Notebooks, for example. And yes, till this day, Jupyter Notebooks still intimidate me, but wow, it is so good. Coding can help you save a ton of time to allow you to focus on what matters most, which in this case of a SOC analyst, Focus on analyzing data and making sense of it. Knowing how to code can provide you with more opportunities in this space because innovation, customization, and open source technologies are used quite heavily. This is something to keep in mind if you wanna to get to that next level. Now, how do I compete with others because I personally do not know how to code? Well, AI is the answer. Although I may not know how to code from scratch, I can try and interpret existing code and edit it to my liking. Remember, all you really need is experience and exposure to what you are trying to accomplish. For example, if you are trying to parse out a specific field in a log, you can provide ChatGPT with a similar log with fake data and have it create you a small parser to grab that field. Rinse and repeat until you're satisfied with the results. And that's it, nothing fancy. For those that are worried that AI will take our jobs, no, they won't. They will help people like me get to that next level. Does this mean that you should not learn how to code? Honestly, it is up to you. If you have the cycles to do it, go for it. Coding has a bunch of benefits and can allow you to have a lot of opportunities. And if you do choose to learn how to code, the go-to language seems to be either Python or Golang. To summarize, Coding is not required to get into cybersecurity. If you don't know how to code, that is okay. Use ChatGPT to your advantage and ask it to help you. If you wanna learn how to code, learn either Python or Golang. That is it for the video and I hope you found it informative. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.